take my shirt off. Calm down, it's PG-13, just like a bikini top. Calm it down. All right, so I saw this place online called Totally 80s Pizza, and it's a pizza place with an 80s museum. A yes, please, that sounds awesome. It's in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm here, so. I feel like I need to adiify myself a little bit, so I need a little eyeliner. I don't have any blue eyeshadow. It's just me. I don't have anybody with me, but I feel like if you're going to go to the 80s pizza, you got to try a little bit. A little my pink blush. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. pop it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just just give it a little, little, little something, something. Oh, okay. We're good. Okay. I got no eyeliner. I do have some brown eyeshadow. A little bit of heaviness. You gotta get into the waterline, you know, in the 80s. You gotta, you gotta pop it in there. That little harsh look. Yeah, people gonna think I'm a little crazy. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. A little pop on my eyebrows, because nobody, none of us knew how to do eyebrows back in the 80s. First of all, I was a preteen into my teens in the 80s. Oh, that's a little heavy. I'm not going goth here. Whoa, calm down a little bit. A little bit of mascara. Get that popping. Mm. Remember having bright lips, like Madonna's Lucky Star video? I think it was Lucky Star. Mm -hmm. Lip liner. Starlight, star bright, make everything all right. I don't have any jelly bracelets, but I have these hair ties and I have more. So I think I'm just gonna put all my hair ties on my wrist. It's an 80s vibe. Gotta have the 80s vibe. Oh no, those are way too tight. Maybe this one. That's cutting my circulation off a little too tight. Just think of you, think of you. Okay, now the grand finale is gonna be my hair. You gotta have a side pony in the 80s. Ow. Luckily, I had recently taken my hair out of braids and I have this kind of like crimp look, which is actually time for a shower, which I'll get later. But the crimp look goes with like the 80s theme, so. It's kind of perfect timing. You know, back in the 80s, we didn't know what we were doing. She's like, there's some bobby pins in my hair. Get out of there. Well, I'm already feeling really 80s with this style. I could do a half pony or full side pony. Oh, yes. It's gotta be a, a, full, a full side pony to get the full effect. Oh my, okay. I just need some like neon material to make like a little bow, but it's not that serious. Now it's kind of hot today, but I gotta change this shirt into something more 80s-ish. So here's what I'm gonna do. Take my shirt off. Calm down, it's PG-13, just like a bikini top, calm it down. And you have to have the side shoulder sweatshirt. I'm gonna probably be sweating, sweating to the oldies in this but I, I gotta take this seriously. Oh, I'm getting flash dance vibes. Do I put it off this shoulder? Well, with the hair, does the hair go on the open shoulder? Does the hair go on the non-open shoulder? No, I think it's the other. I think it's this one. That's all I got in the van, guys. That's all I got. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely feeling some 80s vibes up in this piece. Oh, these people are gonna think I'm crazy walking in by myself with a side pony and some red lipstick. I don't, this is maybe not the best idea. I'm having second thoughts here. I'm never gonna see these people ever again. I should wear my hair like this more often. I'm like, it's a vibe. It's a, a fab vibe. It's hot, it's hot already. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing stretch pants because that's all I have. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's give you a final look-see. Let's see. I can't really see because I don't have a lot of space in here. But I mean, you know, am I, am I Am I giving 80s? Am I am I giving the 80s vibe? You know? Oh, maybe I should just do like this is this more 80s? No. I don't know what's happening there. Too much sugar. It's about to go down. Okay. Let's do this. I haven't been this excited to visit a restaurant in forever. You know what would take it over the top? If you become part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video and keep watching till the end. It's totally tubular. The minute I walked in, I knew I was in my place, my happy place. And I saw the menu and I wasn't sure what I wanted, but I knew as soon as I saw that they had some kind of Frito pizza, I just made my own and got Fritos and tomatoes, which sounds weird and I've never had it before, but I thought it might taste pretty good. Now this place literally has every single thing I could ever 
think of or remember from my 80s experience. They had souvenirs and everything. This Teddy Ruxpin, that's my whole childhood right there. I had a Teddy Ruxpin and I just loved him so, so much. I didn't love this guy. But all these old pictures of people, actors and actresses, it was just so amazing. They had all kinds of autographs and stuff. And these lunch boxes are so nostalgic from all the different movies. I love this carpet. And this brings us into the arcade, which I haven't seen in ages. The town I grew up in had two arcades. Can you believe it? It's a small town. One of my favorites was Donkey Kong and my favorite was Frogger. This place had all the things. Remember Yugo? Even a Zoltar machine. And this one that you would see at fairs and stuff where you would hold the thing to see what type of lover you are. And I mean, come on now. Michael Jackson is the 80s. And they had a whole life-size figurine of him in there. I was like, this place is the best. I mean, look around. This place has everything, including the P.B. Herman bike from the movie P.B.'s Big Adventure. Also, the Terminator, I will be back. Now, every table was decorated with a different movie poster and I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to sit at the video game table, but there was people sitting nearby that, so I just picked this table and I wanted to kind of be next to Alf because that used to be my show. Also, I wanted to watch TV because they were showing old-time commercials and music videos. Even this Lifeline one, they even had the Where's the Beef commercial. Of course they had Wham! Jitterbug. Jitterbug. Okay, my sister and I had these actual cassette players. I had a blue one, she had the pink one. She might still have this pink one, I'm not sure. I wish I would have kept it, because now I'm getting real nostalgic. Also, you can miss me with Freddy Krueger. They even had the Pump Up Shoes, Mork and Mindy, Cabbage Patch, of course. A Christmas Story classic, Chia Pets, McDonald's packaging, even a replica of the Star Wars scenery. This place had everything, so I'm going to be quiet for a little bit and put on some 80s inspired music and just let you take a trip down the new lane. doing a little sightseeing around the place I got my pizza now it looked a little weird but I was definitely down to try it because I was actually pretty hungry that day all right first bite Ooh, I really like this it's got a little sweetness from the tomatoes saltiness from the Fritos the cheese was cheesing actually it was super good and just as a reminder this is a small mom-and-pop restaurant so if you are in the Fort Collins area I highly recommend it they also had snazzy sundaes I was by myself so nine dollars and fifty cents for one would have been too much but I love their names and they looked delicious now before I left I wanted to hit the restroom real quick and even just going in that direction there was a lot of cool stuff including Richard Simmons and loving E.T. and I was not prepared. What I saw in the bathroom, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck again, Tom Selleck again, Tom Selleck, Tom Selleck everywhere. Hilarious, Tom Selleck was overlooking any bathroom needs that you had. I thought that was a little bit creepy, but I had to go, so I had to do what I gotta do. This place is an absolute hit. It brought back so many awesome memories for me. I had a wonderful time there. They had great pizza and great music, including my favorite artist of the 80s, Olivia Newton-John, who inspired me to be a singer and I wanted to be her when I grew up. It's totally 80s and it's totally a hit. Um, and I get, as you can kind of see, I haven't been this excited to visit a restaurant in so long. Five, 80s fied. 
luckily I had just, whoa. Just got my brush. You know what would even take, if you keep, huh? Totally, it is peta. Snack time. Snack time.